The Financial Action Tax Force, the international body responsible for combating money laundry and the financing of terrorism, recently tightened its requirements to improve global financial transparency. This new regulation has placed 13 African countries on the fund's 2024 grey list, including Burkina Faso, Cameroon, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, Mali, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, Senegal, South Africa, South Sudan and Tanzania. These new requirements were the focus of discussions at the AfriZim Bank Compliance Forum in Dakar on September 4th to 6th. Emphasis was placed on the critical importance of knowing the identity of the ultimate beneficiaries of financial transactions, an essential measure to prevent illicit activities. However, this tightening of standard poses major challenges for African financial institutions, which are often faced with infrastructure that are inadequate to meet these new requirements. Mamadou Bukasi, president of the West and Central African Monetary Union Federation, pointed out that these new directives are one of the most significant developments in terms of compliance. In response to the Professional Association of Banks and Financial Institutions of Senegal, is implementing action plans to strengthen mechanisms to combat money laundering and terrorist financing. As Africa prepares to take advantage of the opportunities offered by the African continental free trade area, the fund's requirements could both increase financial transparency and boost trade on the continent.